welcome back. This is Kotal for another War Rights event. Um, it is a bit of a down weekend for me. Um, hope uh, anybody that's uh, celebrating it has a happy Easter. Um, but I was able to at least squeeze in a uh, UEC event. Um, I might be able to give away another event later tonight, but at least I'm going to be able to catch one UEC. And it is on a single server uh, this time. I think it's a down weekend for a lot of people. So uh, we have a farmland conquest to start out with. We got 140 on the CSA team versus 142 on the Union team. So starting out with the CSA team here, we have the 56 Virginia, the LFL, the German Corps, the second USC, the six Texas, the third Alabama and the eighth Florida. And then for commanding, they have Eddie for two USC, Slaughter for 56, LFL under Arc, GC under Vibar, Captain Russo leading the six Texas, Captain Williamson leading the third Alabama, and Captain Fritz leading the eighth Florida. All right, let's take a look at their arty. Looks like they got a couple guns here. Let's see, we've got the Jeff Davis battery here under Captain uh, Corporal Habib. And we've got the LFL battery under Sergeant Crom. Swing over to the Union, starting out with their arty. Looks like they have one gun under AGL, Sergeant Dark. All right, now for their team, they have the, for the Union team, the infantry side, they have the 52nd New York joined by the 5th Ohio from GC. So we got two GC elements there. I'll have to be more specific when I talk about them. We have the 20th Georgia joined by the 4th New Jersey. Then we have the NYV in totality, as well as the 4th Georgia, the SB joined by the SR, and the Alabama German <laughs> Legion, AGL. And for leadership, they have, under 5th Ohio, uh, Lieutenant Dreet, AGL led by Major Greenberg. Venom is leading the SB. O'Keefe is leading the yeah, 52nd New York. You, we got the Colonel Jumbo is leading the 20th. Uh, let's see, Corporal Hansen is leading the NYV, right, along Salute. with James Wesley. And four churches led by Corporal right, good luck, Johnny Cobb. And we are live at 40, and off they go. Now, this game, in case you're wondering, is called War of Rights. It is available on Steam for 30 U.S. dollars. Uh, it is a first-person shooter. Every person that you see here is an individual player. Uh, this event is called the uh, UEC, the United European Community. It is played every Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. GMT. If you have a unit looking for an event at that time, I highly recommend it. They have space yes. and um, always looking for more units um, if they want to enjoy this kind of gameplay. Now, if you're a new player or a veteran player looking for a unit, um, I have links to these units in the description um, to their discords. That's how you sign up. So if you see a unit that looks kind of cool and you want to join up, um, go ahead and Go to those Discord links. See what time they uh, see what times they do their events and sign up. And last but and least uh, for myself, um, if you are enjoying this channel, um, please uh, hit the uh, subscribe button. Should be on the lower right uh, to get more of the content. I usually try to stream uh, several events over the weekend as well as sometimes during the week as well, uh, both for private and public events. And then of course the old uh, subscribe, like, comment, share, all that fun stuff. Um, Especially the comments. I've always found the comments actually tend to help more. So, your thoughts on the match, what you like to see, what you didn't like to see, what you thought on me, what I did well, what I sucked at. Um, A, from the uh, helpful point of let me know what I could do better and what, I, what I'm doing that's working. And then B, um, it, I, I notice it tends to uh, drive the videos quite a bit if there's conversation surrounding the videos in the comments. So. Both as a self-interested on multiple angles. Ooh, look at that counter-battery shot. Just nailed. Oh, man. Poor Jeff Davis battery here. Great counter-battery shot there. So for this game mode, for those that are not aware, it's basically you have three points that are open, and there's a... Uh, basically what will happen is the... Uh, depending on how many flags you have captured, you will decrease that morale state that you see at the top there. 
If you see the two battle ready statements there, that determines who's winning and losing. So the more points you have captured for longer, the more, uh, you know, the more you're winning, basically. And it looks like we're going to have some engagements that be here. Let's swing over to this action. Fire! put back, put spade, I Put spade. Fire at Wolf, Unfortunately, this SB charge is is very spread out and not what I'm used to seeing from them, to be to be frank about it. Um, my name's actually Kotel, not Frank, but to be frank, I would say uh, this, the charge was a little bit spread out more than I'm usually used to seeing from the SB. Although they still managed to wipe oh. out the 8th Florida here. Um, I think it cost them more than I'm used to seeing it cost them to do so. Here we got Captain Rousseau and the 6th Texas overlooking them. But they have now been hit by a pretty powerful volley here by the 20th Georgia by Mr. Jumbo. Is there any other action going on yet? Not yet. The Union has taken one point, the CSA the other, and the middle point is what is under contestation at the moment. Six Texas is going to have a lot of trouble holding on to this position without a flag. That flag is over there. As you can see, um, well, <laughs> you saw what happened there. All right, so we got some movement over here. The NYV, Hansen has him overlooking the point here, but he might get hit soon here by Colonel Weber and the, G and the 20th New York here. But they're going to, let's see, left oblique, where are they aiming at? Oh, they're aiming at that. Uh, didn't look like it did too much damage. Uh, they were shooting at their buddies from the 5th Ohio. And the unfortunate thing is you're probably giving a heads up now to the NYV that they've got something on their right side to worry about. Um, on the opposite side of the field, looks like we got a wide flank by one unit over there and a guard by this unit. Who is this? The 52nd New York here under O'Keefe is kind of... Uh, a skirmish line guarding, harassing the arty. And then we've got a wide flank maneuver here by this Union element here under wide Fort Georgia. Balls. I'll keep an eye on that. They might be heading either for the arty or for the A point. We'll see. Well, let's get back into the action over here as the NYV is about to meet up into the 56 VA. And here we go. Tip of the spear going in along with the NY the 88th brothers. Oh, and they're carrying that attack through to the German Corps. A very good attack here by the NYV. And basically knocking out two units here. Now, the key is getting that flag up right now. So I'm amazed the Union is not picking up their flag. That is very key at the moment. Come on, guys. Vip, you know this. Yep, okay. There we go. Um, Mr. Corporal uh, Timo was able to pick it up. So that will allow the unit to get its men back, and they've already gotten their commander. So a great charge by the NYV, although they might have to get out of there because now they've got two new problems here in the form of the 3rd Alabama joined by the home guard, Captain Eddie, coming in. I'm sponsored by Eddie. Eddie, right in front of us. Triple. Okay, right oblique now. Skirm information, right oblique, independent fire. North east, independent fire, kill them all. Fuck. Eddie, for the love of God. One. Independent fire, keep shooting, get into cover if you need it. Now, you might be wondering why Eddie didn't just charge in. There is a rule that if a skirmish unit uh, cannot charge in unless they're accompanied by another unit. So that is why Eddie did not char might not have charged in there. He might have not, not charged in there anyway, but there is a rule on that. And a good job by the NYV to get out of there and to link up with a friendly unit here in the form of the SB. Uh, let's see here. And yes, so we do have 52nd moving up to join 4th Georgia. 
But what Georgia did attack the Artie, they did go for that option here. So now they have knocked out the, U the CSA guns, which is going to be pretty big. And the Union currently has two uh, points as well. This is going to be an increasing problem for the CSA here. Here we got Fritz is going to maneuver out in the open here, exposing himself to the Union guns. This is a ballsy move here by Mr. Fritz. And he lost a couple doing it, but not too many. And Rousseau is going to join him. That will unleash the 52nd and the HL to hit him in the flank as they please and possibly make a play for A. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, nine currently. Okay. Right, right, Mark. Although, truth be told, the CSA does need to make a play here. Double fire! Reload. Union has a lot of coverage over this point here. And you've got the SB and the NYV guarding this flank here. Here comes Williamson. We'll see if he can punch through. But his flank is exposed to the NYV right now. I don't know if he could hold this position. We'll see. Does he have additional support? A little bit further behind him from 2 USC, but... Um, well, they've actually achieved the objective. The SB has now been pushed off, so that third Alabama hit has freed up some space. We'll see if they can capitalize and knock out the NYV before they have a chance to recuperate. Now we got four charger in a direct battle here with the GC on the Colonel V-Bar. Yeah, it looks like Colonel V-Bar won that fight. And kicked off that element right there. Put it out, rise up. Take the flag. Rise up. Hey, I'm right oblique on the ropes. Aim low. Fire. Company, fire at will. Fire at will, kneel to load. Looks like the big push is continuing to be on this CSA left side here. And Eddie is going to move out here. Let's see what Eddie's thinking of doing. He is exposing himself to a lot of fire. And he's going to try to get a better angle here and knock out the NYV and continue to collapse this flank here. We'll see if he can do it. And the Williamson is going to charge in once that flank and fire is set up and overwhelm the NYV. Now, this is important as we scope out here. Again, the Union right now has two points. They're in a very strong position. But they're starting to lose control of this side over here. Especially if they can uh, see if they can rotate over to the Yardie. They're going to have a good spot here. But the uh, they might also look to collapse onto this side here and free up enough space to take the point. The problem is... They're losing time and they're losing tickets so long as the Union has two points and the CSA only has one. As you can see, the CSA has already moved down to engage. Well done, men. Well done. <laughs> you can see this unit over here, the 52nd, is keeping the CSA off of their already. And we do have a CSA element here coming into point. Who was it? It was Williamson. To be honest with you, I think this might be the right move. Nobody else is going to be able to do this, I think. But he needs a lot of help, or he's going to get melted. And who's coming up here? Six Texas is trying to get some blanket fire to Fort Georgia. And give him some distraction. And look at what... Williamson is facing right now. He's going to need some help. All right, and speaking of that, here comes Fritz coming up to support him. Uh, 
Now these guys over here, I would say, need to move up with a little bit more alacrity. And it is Slaughter, although now he's in position. He's good to go, actually, right here. Never mind. He's exactly where he needs to be. He's going to get a nice... Is he going to take the volley? Uh, Colonel V-Bar is in a decent position. Really good position here. And the CSA has taken the point. Oh my god, what... What and now the SB it? has taken some fire, so, you know, I was a little bit critical of this uh, position over here, but actually, they got in, I would say, the exact right position that they needed to be. And in fact, I like how Slaughter has moved his guys up to try to knock out this position here. Now, my only criticism of that is you really want to target the flag right now, and you want to knock out that flag so that they um, lose it here and they can't regenerate their forces even after they retreat. So right now, if they get that flag out, they're going to be able to regenerate very quickly how many forces they got. And you can see the Union is starting to develop a pretty strong line here in this center position. Now, the good thing for the CSA now, CSA now is that they are, you know, control two points. Still have a threat over here from AGL onto the flank here. But now the Union is going to start falling behind on their tickets. You do have John Beck here, who may possibly... Who is this over here? What is this? It's the Artie. So, technically right now, John Beck has a clear line to the A point and could decap it. The problem with that is you lose control of the Artie, um, but maybe if you rotate another unit out here, maybe the 4th Georgia to go and take over that mission or send over to A, the unit can get into a um, D-cap A point and kind of upset this defense around B, but we'll see if they do that or not. Now again, the union only has one cannon right now. Let's see how they what they do with it. Oh, uh, they, they, they do pretty good with it. I don't know. What do you think, Como? Do you think they did okay with it? I don't know. You let, you let me know what you thought of uh, that little arty shot from the AGL there. So again, right now, if the Union doesn't make a move, all the CSA has to do is hold this position here, and they will win the match. Ooh, nice volley. 22 you're holding strong. It really comes down to concentration and getting multiple vectors of fire in. So right now, you saw how quickly the 56 has melted here. I'm okay. Are you, though? Oh, no longer. No longer. He's no longer okay. Uh, I concur with that. You know, another option, too, might be for the CSA to try to flank maneuver. Now, who is maneuvering out here? LFL, 2nd Lieutenant Arc, is going to try to get around here, although he's going to face two units here. you got AGL over here and 52nd New York over there. He does have a flag with him. We'll see. He might be able to punch through, although AGL is doing a good job reacting. Oh, you see how they are in a kill zone right now, and they wisely get out of there before they took too many casualties. Now, I, I would argue they have other avenues of approach. You could take along the snake line here and try and use the uh, use those trees as concealment and try to get into a fight with 52nd New York while AGL is not a factor. But we will see. But who's moving up here? AGL says, no, I'm a factor. Of course I'm a factor. And they're joined by Fort Georgia. They are making a play forward now. But they are traveling a lot of open ground, and they have some opponents that are moving up against them. Who is coming up here? It is Colonel Weber in the GC, as low as 56 in slaughter. But LFL is going to face them first. Can the LFL hold them? Oh, but good reaction here by the 56. Slaughter is going to come in and reinforce them. Now I would say this. Oh, here, who's coming in, though? Here comes Fourth Georgia. Will this be enough? The key is going to be knocking down these flags. 
You have to. Oh, they've knocked. Hey, he's been knocked out. They've lost the flag. Now I would say the Union did charging. I would say no. Hold your position. Let the uh, flag do the work for you and keep that other flag down. So what? I, I agree with uh, Corporal Johnny here, trying to maintain control of that CSA flag, but they need to knock out this other one here that's in the possession of uh, 56 if they really want to win this. That is going to be key. And do we have another fight developing over here? It looks like the already charged in against the 52nd, and 52nd disabused them of that idea. But all the while that was going on, look at this maneuver here. The SB and the 20th have reoccupied the point. So even though that you know attack is still developing, we don't know the results here. One of the results is they pulled off enough firepower to allow the Union to move back forward here. And, and 20th is getting it up. He, you know, uh, you hear rumors about him, but no, no, he, he can get it up. Did 6th Texas and 8th Florida say, we die here? I don't know how long they're going to be able to hold. Of the line, gentlemen. And the Union has managed to uh, turn this around very quickly and reestablish their um, superiority very quickly here. You do have who's over here, 3rd Alabama in the woods, but there's not really anybody engaging them at the moment. And the Union has recaptured B. Now the attack over here has failed, but it served its purpose. And uh, you see AGL is going to get out of there. They need to make sure they get the flag out of there too, though. Good job by... Uh, those Fort Georgia folks getting it out of there. So now Union can sit back on defense. And oh, by the way, 52nd has still been doing a great job this whole game of denying the CSA. They're already coming back. I, I would say they need to detach at least one, maybe two units to retake this position and get their guns back into play. Because I think their guns would have a major impact on these Union formations that are out here defending the B point. In fact, my priority right now would be knocking out 52nd. I, w I wouldn't do these, you know, big maneuvers over here right now. Maybe some stuff to tie them down. But I would say right now the CSA needs to retake this position. And possibly even send a force, you know, where these where the Artie guys are. Just send them straight down and then go caps, decap C point. Do some things to upset the formations for the other team. It's a full server. It's 296. Yeah, I think the CSA is making a mistake of waiting too much right now to uh, the fight over at B point. You need to wait the majority of your forces, this is true. But like I said, I think, you know, the Artie right now is not in play. And these elements here could have hit that Artie position first. Gotten the guns back into play. But let's see who's fighting over here. Looks like 3rd Alabama is in a fight with somebody. I bet see, uh, who is this? The SB. Good maneuver here by Venom, cutting off the retreat of Williamson in 3rd Alabama. Can he knock the flag down? That is going to be key. Get the... oh. Oh. Take the flag down. Take the flag down. There we go. You hear Venom. <laughs> and they have done it. So now they just got to hold the 3rd Alabama. Oh, get that flag back down, Venom. Oh, kill Williamson too. Oh, don't let that pistol get into play. Oh, and the SB was just not able to do it in time, and they have fallen, and Williamson has survived, if barely. And the CSA, though, is going to make another play for B point after Williamson did that distracting attack, and he is still alive down there, and the Union is down a flag. AGL is making a forward play here. Here we got the uh, fifth Ohio here. They are facing Williamson, while Jumbo and his guys are going to overlook point. Reload. Taking out a few of them, but uh, not enough to stop them decapping. AGL though on independent fire is doing a good job. They need to get that flag back up as you hear him. Independent fire. Where's the goddamn flag? Oh, 
Oh, cover me, god damn it. Cover me, I'm lifting it. Ah. Oh. God damn it, get that fucking plug out. Let's go! So right now you actually Protect don't need to have the flag bearer hands. taking the flag up. Once you have the flag on here, the flag bearer, bearer can move off. And somebody else can uh, keep the flag up. Oh, who came up here? It's like six Texas came up to try to help. And absorb some of this fire coming in from the AGL. Keep fighting, keep fighting. There we go. And they have taken it once again. And more of the CSA lines come up here. Okay, sorry, sorry, come on. Where that smoke just came from in front of you, see that? Here's the LFL, going to provide some coverage. I, I would, honestly, to both teams, I'd, I'd say they're being a little bit too restrictive right now in how they're playing. By that, I mean, I, there's, a, I think, an over-focus on the B point right now. And we did have a charge up here. Third Alabama, as they like to do, is trying to get into the real line. But the danger is they now lost their flag down here. And that is going to cost the CSA quite dearly. Um, we'll see if these other units here, like Slaughter and 56 and then the 20th, can hold this position on this flank here. Ah, just as I was criticizing them. Just as I was criticizing one of the teams, look who did this. Fort Georgia came in and took down the A point. So great initiative there by that element. They took the open road. And they now have even the playing field, especially as the Union is moving up here to take that flag down. Come in, Mila, Danny. Come on, let's go. CSA is now at taking losses. Union at engaged. But we need a flag on A. Yeah, yeah, we need to cap this one. Got this one. All right. So right now, I would say you actually don't need a flag on A. I would say that um, the Fort Georgia has done its job. Just maintain these two points, and you will um, out trip them. You don't need to risk sending a flag over there. I would disagree with that uh, viewpoint. About face. You can see the holes that have been punched into the 2 USC. You now I've got like one element here, one element here. The entire middle section's been chewed to pieces. Go and decap C. Go to the, uh, to, to the cornfield and decap C point. Be stealthy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, Dad. Shoulder arms. So you hear Fritz giving that order, and I agree with it. Um, the difficulty is, and this is this is part of a UEC thing, there's no direct comms. A unit that's coming out of their main is much better positioned to do that maneuver than 6 Texas. 6 Texas is going to have to take a very either direct and observable route through open terrain, or they're going to take have to spend a lot of time going all the way around. But yeah. there's no communication that's possible, so uh, you can understand that. And here we got LFL is moving back. Arc is going to get the uh, A point back up, which is pretty essential because they're going to lose a lot of tickets this whole time while they don't have a point up. Yeah, see, like, 3rd Alabama would have been perfect for that mission. But, again, you had, you had no way to communicate that with Williamson across this big field. So um, I can understand why Fritz gave that order. And, in fact, you see here's 6 Texas. Um, I agree with what Russo's doing. Even though it takes longer, you don't want to, if he had tried to go across this open terrain, 8, this unit right here, which I believe is 4th George, it might be AGL. No, it's AGL. But it shoots you to pieces. And again, one of my MVP units for this game here is the 52nd, who has completely neutralized the CSA already. Who would have been a huge factor in this game. Test. 
Alter, ist die Ratte auf die, die Kanone oder was? Ja. Das zweite da Ja, So Eddie right now is probably going to have to try to distract the Union force as best as he can um, with his limited manpower to enable another attack somewhere else. Um, you do have LFL that is taking care of the job of getting that point up, and here comes Williamson with his men is moving back down this road. Again, I would, I would again, these units here like Slaughter and his guys and... Colonel Vibar and his guys join in on this attack here that 6 Texas is doing against the 52nd. The problem for the 52nd is, no, I'm sorry, 6 Texas is, can they actually beat the 52nd before the, you know, QRF here, the 4th Georgia, comes up and hits you? Keep going, keep going, keep on the case Independent. Independent fire, boys. The CSA at least got one point back up here as the 4th Georgia tries to save the 52nd. But if you have one or two more units here, this attack would have been much more effective. This is the U.S. Army. Surrender now. Surrender now, sir. We will be... Surrender. Save your life and put the gun away, sir. Damn it. Got him. Kill this one. Kill this one, guy. Kill this guy. And you can see the... F they have secured that position, and that will allow 52nd to move back on up here. Meanwhile, AGL is going to go back to its old position. Um, CSA can try for now for a uh, B-point cap here. And I think that's what Fritz has in mind, but he's going to face a lot of firepower and a lot of concentration to do it. He's got Williamson with him, so they may be able to uh, sustain themselves long enough, but they only have one flag with them. That is going to make it very difficult to do so. Oh. Oh. my company. Ready. Aim. Left the bleed. Left the bleak, on the big tree. They're firing now. Fire. You can see how quickly this element here is getting uh, engaged here. And in fact, we have another deep maneuver here by the NYV. They might be going back towards the other point again. We've got two USC trying to move up to support. GC moving up to support. 56 moving up to support. Um, but it looks like 6 Texas has now been pulled off of that flank maneuver after they lost here. LFL is going to try it. I think LFL might be able to punch through, but I, I, again, I would try to send it with one additional unit, I think. And here comes the attack by uh, Venom, has knocked out Williamson. But now here comes Fritz, is going to try to knock out the SB. We'll see if he can do it. The CSA already get back up? Oh, Saw an Audi explosion over there. I didn't think the CSA had any Audi up, but they might have. Though, so, looks like Fritz has held, supported by this covering fire from 2 USC. Oh, but looks like we got an attack here. The NYV ran into Colonel Vibar over here. And, oh, Slaughter is going to join him, too. And that will probably be the end of the NYV over here. And the CSA has gone down to breaking. As I was saying, fire within the volley. You oh, but here's another maneuver. Who's coming up here? AGL is maneuvering up. Are they going for the uh, A point, or are they going to try to get behind the CSA? I'd go behind the CSA right now, to be honest with you. Um, kind of wipe out this unit, secure it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, he might be thinking... No, he's thinking A point. So we'll check back with him in a minute. We do have some action over here. LFL is now pinning down the 52nd over here. Along with uh, Fort George is still independent. Who is this over here? Alright, so 6 Texas, Captain Russo is going to make it over here. And he is launching this uh, side mission over to C Point. We'll see if he makes it. Okay, so HL is going to go for that flank maneuver. I think he might have taken a bit too of a circuitous route, and he's been spotted now. So I didn't watch what happened there, but I think he uh, he might have been... I don't know what happened. It's going to be hard for him to maintain this position, though. Um, I think he needs to hit him a little bit harder, a little bit earlier. So right now he's isolated. 
And here comes the charge to wipe him out. And they will be chased off. Let's see, Rousseau has made it. And he's got a clear line. We'll see if he can do it. Oh, große Einheit kommt in Südosten. Auf und zu. Yep. Yep. Uh, haut noch eure letzten Schüsse raus. Wir müssen ich uns I don't think it'll be, it might not be enough. We've only got seven minutes left of this match here, and the CSA is more than a uh, full morale state behind. And you still have these Overwatch units, including the Artie here, like 20th and the 5th Ohio, that have been just devastating for anybody that makes a play on this point. Reload. Uh, that one, they only got one or two. That was not as effective. <laughs> Now, the interesting thing right now is if the CSA can hold B point and Russo can get over to C point in time, we might have a counterattack, but this is a big if. And they don't have a flag with them. Oh, wait, who's coming up here? These guys have a flag. They do. We may see a counterattack here. Is there any union that can threaten A point? I don't see one right now. The CSA may be able to pull off this counterattack here. This is going to come down to whether or not the 20th and the 5th Ohio can outshoot the 8th Florida and the other units that are over here right now. They might not realize, and I don't see how they would realize the danger they're in. Uh, oh, and then we've got a CSA attack over here. 3rd Alabama came over here. Can they get these guns back online? And then carry this attack forward. Keep the Union on their heels. Don't stop. Keep pushing. And that's what he's doing. And now the CSA already might be able to get into play again. C point has been neutralized. Did they have a flag with them over at C, though? I don't think Russo had a flag with him. No, he didn't. That's the one problem with this plan. They, didn't, they did not have a flag with them. The question is, can this CSA already get into uh, firing resolutions here quick enough? Снаряды можно? Да, да. Кейс заряжай. Четыре клика влево, даже пять. Elevation. Taking a little bit of time here. And Venom is not going to give him time. He's going to move up. They'd already need to get into place and get moving very quickly. Right now, you need some already shots into this position right now. 30 seconds later, it's too late. Where is the CSA already? They are not aiming at the correct thing right now. I hate to tell you this. Counter battery is not what you need to do right now. You need to stop that. Not right decision. I'm sorry, guys. That was a not right decision. You needed to kill that. And the CSA now is going to move up, but they're going to be in a great spot for the Union guns here. Hold the points. Hold, Florida, hold. Fire that will to the left oblique. Left oblique, boys. 
Now the CSA is in this Union kill box here. Although they do have support on this side here. Who's moving up? Kunal Hibar moving up here, trying to put pressure on this flank here. I think that's the right decision. It's going to be very hard for the CSA to win this match, though. You can see this attack here by 3rd AL, supported by GC, has upset this defensive line. And they may be able to roll it up here if they're aggressive enough. Now, this unit over here, uh, 6 Texas, you've done your mission, but if you don't have a flag up, get back in the fight. I guess you're waiting to ambush. Who's ever going to come back and take the point? Maybe. I guess that could be a good idea, but... I, I would get back in the main element here. Uh, Fritz might be thinking of heading to C, but it's too late. It's way too late for that. He's going to get intercepted here by this yes. unit. Here by the 52nd. The spoilers. So even though they, they're going to lose this, they've distracted them and stopped them from getting there. And you see that they have pulled off, and they're going to waste the time instead of for them going to their main objective. And, oh, by the way, Oku's going to be waiting. Jumbo's already going to be waiting there for him. Six Texas is not going to be able to stop him. CSA has all the momentum now. They've cleared out the arty position here. Actually, six Texas would need to charge in to stop them from raising this flag. Then them just hanging out here does nothing. Uh, yeah, you shot them, but they got the flag at them. So, oh, they're getting the flag up. I should say. Now they're doing the charge. Okay, now you're doing a decent maneuver here. It actually timed was pretty well timed, but again, I would have shot much closer than blind shooting. See, they did get the flag up. You need to prevent that from happening. So, 8th Florida here will win this fight here, but it won't matter. The uh, Union will win on time and uh, will uh, out outlast the CSA. So, a fun conquest to start. I think we got a contention next, so it's always fun to watch conquest and contention with full servers. Um, so looking forward to the next map. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Always like hearing the opinions, especially from the guys that played it, what you guys were seeing. I love this. Look at, look at these out of lines. Look how low they are. Got to low the skirmishing kit, that's sorry. All right, good job, guys. See you all in the next one.